Okay, hi everyone, it's Walt Bayless. We're gonna be talking about RepWarn, reputation management software, and uh, how the system can monitor keywords for you and be uh, looking for any mentions of your brand names or personnel or uh, anything at all in terms of uh, the keywords or the alerts that you set up. And why would you wanna do that? You wanna monitor your keywords specifically so that if somebody mentions your name or your brand name or your company name, you're able to interact and respond with them. We've seen companies that have been sunk, completely gone under by a negative post on Twitter or, or Facebook or something like that that's gone viral. And RepWarn allows you an instant notification system to communicate with people uh, and to make sure that you are, you know, if somebody posts about you, that you can, that you know about it, first of all, and that you can respond and interact. So um, the RepWarn dashboard, we're going to create an alert and again, this is so that you can monitor your brand name. So uh, let's give it a name, and this is just so we can see it in the list here. So I'll create an alert for my own brand name. And we can put our keywords here. This is where you put the keyword, the main keyword of your business. So you can, if in this example, we might set up RepWarn as the keyword, okay? And we can separate that. We can add multiple keywords. In this example, I'm just gonna create one. So one keyword for one alert, and move it forward. We have ancillary terms. Now, if you've got thousands of different results coming from all over the web, you wanna be able to quickly scan and see what's good and what's bad. So I might be able to put in here positive words and negative words. So for example, I can have um, uh, works great, okay. Um, might be fantastic, just as an example, okay. Negative words might be uh, um, trouble, Okay, or or uh, bad service or something like that. Okay, so if it's a if it's uh, an easy if it's good, it's going to show up in green. If it's bad, it's going to show up in red, and that just literally highlights that um, that in the list of of results. Okay, so we've got our main keyword, our ancillary terms. So the ancillary terms are literally just highlights in the list. Now we can choose where to search. We can see we've got all of the web and social media there. So I can say, look, make sure we we turn off or on Instagram. I'm not really interested in if somebody's posting on, on Facebook, for example. So I can turn off or on those different search areas. I can also look by country. So if I'm only interested in results from a particular location, so I'm in Australia, so I might have Australia, my country, um, and then, you know, maybe I've got a particular branch that I've, of my location. So I can set that to be a specific location uh, in a specific country, or I can look for multiple countries. Uh, and again, just to try and define the results. You don't have to put in any locations if you, if you just want to keep the web open and look anywhere on the net. Uh, we also have multiple languages. We can also have high priority and noise. So um, what we mean by that is high priority sites, things like Facebook, things like TripAdvisor, Yelp, Google+. We can have uh, alerts when they're when the mentions are on high priority sites, we can also choose to receive everything or try and eliminate a little bit of the noise if there's secondary sites there as well. So you can set up how, how detailed do you want those alerts to be coming through. And then this is the RepWarn silent URL monitoring. And what do I mean by that? We can see it here, it says indirect no name alerts. Now, you might not need to set this up for everything, but say for example, if you've got a listing, a business listing on uh, Facebook or Yelp or TripAdvisor, for example. So I've got a Yelp page here, and this is a, a dentist in Melbourne. Um, and say for example, if, if you wanted to monitor anybody that's commenting on your page, they might not actually use the keywords of that particular business name, but we can monitor that whole page by simply copying, copying that URL and putting that into our silent URL system, okay? So that's a Yelp page, and we just drop it in there as like that. And what we can do then, that will monitor for any changes on that page. So if somebody can comment, they might say, uh, I dined here, it was great service, the chef was excellent, or something like that. They haven't mentioned any specific keywords, but you'll still get an alert with the RepWarn silent URL monitoring. So uh, I'll leave that off, uh, let's just keep it there. Actually, I will take it off because we're monitoring for RepWarn, so we won't show up on the Freedom Dental page. And of course, you can block specific URLs. So if you've got your own website or blog, uh, if you mention, you don't really want to be notified every time you post to your own site. So you can have specific sites that are, are blocked, and that's it. That's setting up an alert within RepWarn and the reputation management system. We can see that there. Uh, it's already found a result. As I bring that in, it automatically brings that across. Um, so 
we can see those alerts coming through and that will give us real lifetime results uh, and uh, we showed in the beginning shot, we can then be able to start to see sentiment and analysis uh, on where those posts are coming from. Uh, and we can start to really interact with the audience. Uh, and we can start to see uh, how, what kind of feedback we're getting on social media. Are we making the right kind of impact? We can communicate immediately. So again, if, if we've got an alert that comes through, uh, let me see if I've got one here. So this is, somebody's posted about a particular subject, uh, they've done a, a YouTube video in this case, or an Instagram post, I can go across and literally interact and respond immediately. If they've posted on Facebook, I can respond immediately. Um, and this is in live time within the RepWarn system. So that's the RepWarn reputation management software, uh, able to monitor and scour the internet for any mentions of your brand, brand names or keywords or personnel, allows you to interact immediately, uh, access via our mobile apps, um, so you can get those alerts direct to your hand uh, and interact and communicate in live time with anybody that's mentioning your business and control your reputation online.